there is no government that is uh, by nature perfect. So, and governments are subordinate to the people. Leaders are in power and in government to serve the people. So if the people feel bad about the way the country is being run, it is within their rights to protest. It is legitimate in a democracy to protest. Even uh, under a military regime, people protest. Protests are one of the tools by which good governance um, is encouraged. So I do not see anything wrong in protest. And uh, I said back then, I supported the NSAS protest back then before the organizers uh, made some mistakes that uh, caused the protests to eventually fail and uh, caused unnecessary pains to, to the people, you know? So this protest is legitimate. There's nothing wrong about a protest in a democracy. But I have never seen a protest that has triggered so much fear in the hearts and in the minds of people in government like this uh, uh, plant protest. There is tension in the land. The people in government are terrified because they believe that the protests are meant to achieve other goals, especially regime change. If you speak with anyone, I mean, Abuja currently, if you speak with um, people in government, what they will say to you is that the organizers of the protests are the people who hate the current uh, government so much, who hate the key elements, key figures in the current government so much, and are eager to see the back of the government. And when you, when you bear in mind the fact that popular opposition, popular uh, uh, mass action have led to regime change in some countries, you can then understand why there is so much panic uh, in the uh, seat of power about this protest uh, that is being planned. No one knows the organizers. They've made themselves faceless. Only a few people are talking about it, but even the people talking about it are not owning up. They are not uh, coming out to say, yes, we are organizers of this protest. We are, we are proud. We want, we, we want to own this protest. We are not afraid to own this protest. That is why there's a lot of trepidation. The feeling that what transpired during the NSAS uh, protests that later led to riots, that led to the opening up of prisons, that led to the destruction of uh, more than 100 uh, luxury buses uh, belonging to the Lagos state government, will happen this time. That is the fear. The fear that it could happen again. 